everyone. We got a Lakers injury report for tomorrow's preseason game. So right off the bat, you see one really stands out. We'll get to that in a second. Troy Brown Jr., lower back soreness. Uh, that's something he's been dealing with for a while now. Dennis Schroeder, not with the team, but he's supposed to be returning. He got his visa uh, issue worked out, so that's good. Lonnie Walker, the fourth, uh, he has a left ankle sprain. Who is out? He's been dealing with that since before training camp. Tweak that. Uh, just more of a precaution thing. Uh, he seems to be okay. Just, you know, it's preseason. Don't want to have things get worse for these guys. You want them healthy for the regular season. But the big standout is Anthony Davis. Low back tightness uh, is probable for tomorrow. It doesn't mean that he's out of tomorrow's game. It just means that he is probable for tomorrow's game. So, of course, people are already talking about, you know, him being glass and stuff like that. And obviously, preseason. You want to see these three guys play, right? That's the key. That is what's important. You want to see them get reps. You want to see them, you know, kind of see what the product's going to look like. Uh, you know, get get a free sample before the actual, uh, you know, product is out there. And as nice as that would be, it's early preseason. I don't think any of these guys are going to play a ton of minutes. Um, I don't see, especially LeBron, maybe Westbrook plays a good amount of time with some of the other guys because I do think Westbrook is going to operate in many ways, as the sixth man, I think he starts for this team, but I think he runs with a lot of the bench guys. So I could see Russ getting a lot of time in this preseason with those guys. Um, but LeBron, they're not going to work LeBron heavily. I mean, LeBron probably plays half of the preseason games, if that. Uh, if he does play every game, it's probably only going to be for a couple minutes each game just to kind of get some run, burn, get some run in. The last like one or two games before the regular season, that's when we'll probably see them play like a full quarter together, all the starters, stuff like that, really get some run in, maybe even a whole half. Uh, that's just how it usually goes. But the whole Anthony Davis situation, yeah, we want to see him on the court. Yeah, it's a big concern. Like, oh, like here he is, Mr. You know, Glass. You know, as people like to call him, street clothes, he's hurt. And, you know, the season hasn't began yet, this, that, and the other. Like, how much of this is really that he has back soreness and how much of this is like they just don't want to play him? You know, like, because that's usually what they do in preseason. You hear, you get the report and you hear, like, some soreness, you know, hamstring soreness, some hand straight, you know, with tightness, things like that, and they're probable or whatever, and then they just don't end up playing. Now, Anthony Davis could play. We may see Anthony Davis play tomorrow, and he might be fine and all is well. He's looked great in the in the scrimmage. He looked great in training camp and doing all the drills and everything like that. He doesn't look like a guy that has back soreness. Um, maybe he does, but there's a part of me and I don't, I mean, we, there's no way to know this for certain, but there's a part of me that thinks that this is just their, the Lakers excuse to not have to play Anthony Davis for preseason, because if he's not injured, then people, and he doesn't play, people are going to want to know why didn't you have him play? Like what's going on? This is when you're supposed to be working on your sets. This is when you're supposed to be working on your game plans, this, that, and the other. But if he has lower back soreness, that's kind of your way out. That's why you see teams do stuff like that. They'll release a report that a player has, you know, some soreness somewhere or some tightness somewhere, and it's preseason, so they don't want them to get hurt before the regular season. And then that's your get-out-of-jail-free card, essentially, for these players actually being on the court. Because, uh, again, if he was just to not play, you know media and the whole world and everything would be like, well, why didn't you have these guys play? Like, why are they... It's, it's better to just let people on the internet talk smack and troll and say, oh, Anthony, see, look, Anthony Davis can't even, you know, start the season and he's already injured. That is better than actually him getting injured or something like that for preseason or him like overexerting himself. Like, you know, it'd be nice to get him in a game or two. And maybe he does. Like I said, probable doesn't mean he's not going to play. But if he doesn't play, I wouldn't be shocked. And if he doesn't play, I wouldn't be shocked if they're just releasing that report just to release it. But I've said this from day one. Anthony, we go as far as Anthony Davis takes us. LeBron James has told Anthony Davis he wants him to step up into a more prominent role, into a more dominant role. He's the number one option. He is the guy. He needs to handle the workload. The whole reason the Lakers went and traded for him was so he could do that, was so that he could be the guy right now to take the burden off of LeBron, but also be the guy for the future of this franchise that we can build around post-LeBron. So Anthony Davis really needs to start showing that. Now, I need to see him play at least 60 to 65 games. We can't have him playing, you know, 40 games this season, missing half of the season. It's just not going to work. We need him to play and be on the court and be productive. We need to see that high MVP level that we know Anthony Davis can play at. And we need to see a lot out of him. And we're hearing a lot of good things. 
You know, Darvin Ham has talked about it. We've gotten interviews with Anthony Davis, and he's talked about it. LeBron, praise everyone's praising Anthony Davis. Everyone says, you know, he put in the work this offseason. He was working with the lethal shooter. Last time he worked with the lethal shooter, he shot 36% from three and 40% from the bubble. So can he replicate that? Can he be the floor spacing big that we need? You know, all of the footage we've gotten, it looks good. He looks good out there. He's moving well. You know, he's being himself. That's what we need. We need him to step up into that dominant just role, that number one option role. He has all the intangibles, all the skill sets. He can be that guy without a doubt. He's a guy that can basically shoot anywhere from the from the floor. You know, he's back to the basket. He can block shots. He can play defense. He's a very rare player in this league. And when he was bubble Anthony Davis, he was easily a top five guy in the league. You know, arguably top three. And can he get back to that? Can he play that? Even if he doesn't win the MVP, I don't care if he wins the MVP. I just need you to at least be in the conversation. You know, at least be like, hey, does Anthony Davis deserve the MVP? Like, that's what we need. You know, like, I don't care if he actually wins it. I mean, it'd be nice, but I do. I want him to take on the challenge of being that guy. He says he's ready. He says he's willing to go. He said he's made it a personal goal to play all 82 games. LeBron James has said that, you know, he's talked to him and he wants him to really, you know, step up and shine and be the guy that we need him to be and be that number one option. Darvin Ham has said, you know, we're running through Anthony Davis. Anthony Davis, we go as far as Anthony Davis takes us, all of those things. That's great to hear, all that stuff. But we need Anthony Davis to actually do that and translate that to the game of basketball and actually do that on the court. We could say whatever we want to say. We could think whatever we want to think. Anthony Davis needs to prove everybody. He needs to show up this season. And I do believe he will. I do believe he will. Uh, last season, a lot of that was just freak accidents. You can't control somebody flying, you know, 40 feet into, you, <laughs> into your ankles and, you know, or into your knee or stuff like that. Like, so I don't really blame him for the injuries last year, but he needs to stay healthy. He needs to stay on the basketball court. Um, I do believe he's going to miss some games. I know he wants to play 82 games. I don't think the Lakers would let him play 82 games, even if he wanted to. Even if they, even if he was able to, they wouldn't let him. And, you know, again, I just, I don't really put too much into this, like, back tightness thing. You know, if it was like he's having, like, you know, knee soreness or, you know, uh, where where he had his injuries this last season or ankle soreness or something, I'd be like, okay, that's that's a little concerning. But having a little back tightness, that means that he could play if they needed him to, if it is a real injury. You know, they, what, they put those cortisone shots or whatever in, and boom, those guys are fine. Um he could play if he wanted to, but I really think this is more of like a precaution. Like, hey, we don't. It's the first preseason game. We don't want to play a ton of Anthony Davis. Um, also, it could be their excuse to just not play him a lot. You know, like just have him play. You know, five ten minutes. You know, uh, hey, you know he has some soreness. We wanted to let him get a little burn in, but we don't want him to get hurt anymore if he does play tomorrow. So even if he does play tomorrow, don't expect him to play a lot. I would be shocked if he played more than like ten to maybe 15 minutes at the most. I even think 15 is too much. I think, you know, maybe he plays a quarter at the most, so like 12 minutes. You know, somewhere, if he plays more than that, then, yeah, I I, I don't know how I feel about that. But anyway, as always, this is a discussion, so I pass a question on you. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments section below. What do you think of this news? Are you like, ah, here we go again. This is Anthony Davis, this, that, and the other. Do you think that, like, no, like, you know, it's, just some soreness, like if this was a, if this was a, set him for precaution, if it was a regular season game or playoffs, takes a shot and he's good, he's ready to go. Do you think like kind of how I does, do where it's like that's usually the reports that you get when a team doesn't want a player to play? Uh, so, you know, that again, that's kind of what I'm looking at this as is like, oh, it's some soreness, you know, you, that's usually what you get. Uh, that's usually the, the report that comes out when a team doesn't want a player to play. And it just sounds like that's kind of what it is for Anthony Davis. Do you feel the same way? Do you not? However you feel, good, bad, ugly, somewhere in between, uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions. Let me know down in the Quick little shameless plug, everyone. If you enjoy my videos and commentary here on this channel, As It Stands Lakers, then check out the link down in the description below and go subscribe to As It Stands. Believe it or not, As It Stands was the first channel. If it wasn't for that channel, this channel would never have existed. Because of the success of that channel, it led me to want to create this Lakers channel. So do me a huge solid if you're not subscribed over there. Go check that out. Go subscribe over there. I talk all things sports, uh, all teams, things like that, not just the Lakers. So if you just enjoy my commentary and want to hear me talk about other things, 
or you just, you know, are a fan of other sports and other teams, go check that out. I promise you will not be disappointed. That being said, hit that like button. Helps me out a lot. Let's me know you enjoy these types of videos, and I truly appreciate it. If you're not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Follow by the bell notification. Stay up to date with all things sports. Join this wonderful community and all of our discussions. I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you.